Record snow from Washington to New York to Tokyo. Greetings, everyone. Jim here. Uh, 100 million Americans are under or were recently in the last day under weather warnings. Japan demands extra electricity as frigid lows sweep the country and record snow snarl Tokyo transport. We've got extraordinary snowfall event besieges Vancouver Island. We'll run through some of this here. This is a great story posted by the electroverse.net. Now, um, Nearly 100 million people were under weather warnings and advisories Thursday night as two polar storm systems set the stage for a nationwide awakening from a mass psychosis of hysteria, oh yeah, and panic predicated on the staged hypothesis that planet Earth is burning up. Yeah, I thought, uh, I thought it was getting warmer. I, 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 I must have misread something. Uh, and this writer goes on to say, and I like this, it'll take far more than facts, logic, and a little ice age to undo decades of fear-driven propaganda. And we are certainly suffering right now uh, around the world, and especially here in the U.S., from fear-driven propaganda, uh, the mass formation psychosis. You are all familiar with that right now. Let's hit some details here. Uh, snow started falling at 9.30 p.m. Thursday just outside Washington, D.C., the area's second major winter storm in just three days. Flakes were expected to hit city limits overnight with the potential to drop more than an inch every hour after midnight. Now in Buffalo, New York, the city crushed its single-day snowfall record. A lake effect system brought 15 inches to the area, and actually 15 inches... Uh, Oh, they can do better than that in Buffalo. More than double the previous January one-day record set back in 1974, which was during solar minimum uh, cycle 20. At point, snow was falling at rates of three inches per hour, according to the National Weather Service, taking residents by surprise. Let's look at a tweet by Corey uh, Massisak. Uh, this is from last night in Buffalo. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Isn't that beautiful? All right, let's move on. Now, the all-time snowfall record for a January day was set in nearby Cheek Tawaga, that is a suburb of Buffalo. Thursday's totals busted the 18.3 inches from January 11, 1982, and 18 inches had accumulated by 2 p.m. with the flakes still coming down. Let's look at another scene here from the Buffalo area tweeted by Buffalo Snow King. You see that snow coming down, my friends. Now in the southeast, this is a little more peculiar. Heavy snowfall was reported across several states Wednesday, and we know that Nashville, Tennessee, received seven inches. Um, it was one of the largest ever dumps in the city's long history, uh, weather history, which dates back to the mid-1800s. Uh, you can look at this quick shot here uh, from Nashville, uh, tweeted by Max Larkins 19. Again, that's Nashville, Tennessee. You wouldn't expect that there. But this is occurring. This is occurring with more and more frequency. We've had uh, intense weather conditions in Kentucky, shutting down multiple major highways. That was yesterday afternoon, Thursday afternoon. Here is uh, a tweet of a wreck in Western Kentucky from Matt Jones. Look at that, man. That is unbelievable if I didn't see it myself. Okay, you got the gist of that, my friends, but look at the, the traffic backed up, the the trucks, the cars off the road, that is just, it's, it's extreme. Okay, so the, the point being, and there's a shot right there uh, from Virginia. Um, this weather, I would say, is weird, okay? It is strange. Granted, Buffalo gets heavy snow, but these other areas, even Tokyo, Tokyo, which uh, is demanding extra electricity as frigid lows sweep the country, uh, this is very strange, and again, I wouldn't blame this personally myself. I wouldn't blame this on any manner of natural climate emergency, man-made climate emergency. Oh, I'd be more uh, apt to believe that. Look at me scrolling all the way up here as quick as I can. But folks, 
again, this is just fits in with the uh, with, with the theme of 2022 when everything is going upside down. Everything. Wars, rumors of wars, weather, signs in the skies, uh, a, a decaying culture and society. We've got such wickedness in the, uh, the government, especially the U.S. government. Uh, evil. The world is completely overtaken with evil, and I hate to sound like a fear monger, or as I used to say when I was younger, a fear monkey, but it's true. And we are in the end of days, and we're just going to see uh, this deteriorate as we go further. This is why you need to lean into Jesus now more than ever before. I will leave you a link to this. Please like this video. Please share it. Please subscribe. Uh, hit the bell icon if you're on YouTube for updates. Check out the links below. And like I just mentioned, do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is Jim signing off. God bless you, and I'll see you soon.